What's up, guys? How you guys doing today? So to start off the vlog, as you guys know, a couple days ago, we took a trip down to PA, which is like a three or four hour drive. And it was super hot out that day. It was like 90 degrees. And we ended up getting food and we left it inside of my car on accident for a couple of hours. It stunk up my whole entire car. We've tried literally like everything so far trying to get this stench out of my car. We cleaned the entire car, even like scrubbed down the carpets with carpet cleaner. We thought that's where the smell was coming from, but it's still lingering there somehow. And a couple people left a comment saying I should get like an odor remover for my car. So I found this and we're literally like about to nuke my car with this right now. It's supposed to clear out every single odor in there. So I'm really hoping this works because it does smell pretty bad. So we're about to do it on the M4 as you can see. Now to do this, no one is supposed to be in the car at all. You're supposed to keep all of the windows up, keep the door completely sealed and you're supposed to turn on the car and have the air conditioning running. So it like literally pulls everything out and you're supposed to keep it circulating. So it literally just makes everything go out, which is pretty dope. I've never actually tried this, but it's literally like nuking your car because you just stick this thing in there. I think the seal cracks and it literally just keeps on shooting out this mist and you're supposed to do that and you're supposed to let it sit for like 10, 15 minutes. And um, I don't know, I'm very excited. I want to try this out. Definitely first time ever trying something like this. So let's get it open. It's this little bottle right here. Vehicle should be unoccupied. No persons, pets or plants. Damn, I got plants in my car. <laughs> Shit, I gotta take them out. I'm playing it. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Start the vehicle with a fan set on high, circulated cold air, and close all windows. With the air refresher nozzle facing away from you, so towards me, <laughs> activate its locking trigger. Place it in the center of the car, typically on the floor between the front and back seats. Close all doors for 15 minutes. Open all doors after 15 minutes. Turn off the vehicle and let air out for 10 to 15 minutes again. So, let's do this. All right, all right so I am going to put this right in the middle, like it says. There it goes. Oh, that smells good. Ooh, that should be nice. This is cool. I mean, I have a tent, so it's a little hard to see, but there it goes. Whatever's gonna get like foggy or misty in there. Dude, it does smell really, really good though. I wonder how long it goes for as well. You smell it coming out the windows. That's how Yeah. Dude, and I mean, the windows are all the way rolled up, so it's that very, very strong. This should work. It Finally. definitely should, I know. We've been hoping for this. Thank you guys for your suggestions in the comments. I do read the comments. Sick. All right, so we're gonna let that sit for 10, 15 minutes. Come back. More likely 15 minutes. I wanna make sure everything's as good as possible. Oh, uh, you're checking it out now? That's cool. Ain't it? And then we'll come back, let the doors open, and see what happens from there. 20 minutes later. I'm not out there yet! What? First of all, the window's freezing, <laughs> but you can't even see. Oh yeah, it's probably because it's blasted on fucking 60 degrees oh, in the yeah, car. Yeah, go ahead, open it up. Unlock it. <laughs> Tricked you. <laughs> I locked it. Wait. What? Unlock. How's it smell? Uh, nice as hell. Oh my god, it smells like a brand new car. It smells so good. Doesn't it? Mm, good. It it's coming right out of the vent. Oh, no puke. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it works, That's man. Sick. Thank you. Thank you so much to the people that suggested this. You guys literally helped my life. Well done. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Goodbye. I'm kidding, I'm gonna grab it, obviously. <laughs> All right, so now it's gonna air out for another 10, 15 minutes. Wow, I am standing back here. The car is right there. We're probably about like, I don't know, like 20, 20 feet. And you can still smell it. It is such a powerful smell, but it, it smells really good. It's That's not sick. like it's bad. No, yeah, if anyone has a problem with a smelly car, definitely get that. I think it was like 10 bucks at Walmart. Worked really, really good. Okay, so if you guys can see, there's this hawk. Wow, it just flew away. But there's all these birds up there because I think there's a nest of eggs and all these birds are trying to defend their nest. So they're all literally running into the hawk right now. And it's funny because you can literally see like a couple birds at a time fucking hit into this hawk. And the hog wouldn't even budge. It was funny as shit, but I don't know what exactly happened now. I wish I could have shown you guys. I was a little bit late on recording it. I absolutely love this weather. I mean, as of recently, obviously it's summer now, which is awesome. But it doesn't even get dark until like 9, 9.30, which is amazing because I remember I was complaining before how it would get dark at like 6.37. And it just kind of feels like it ruins my day when it gets dark that early. But it hasn't been doing that recently. So I like this part of the year when it's like this. It's just, it's very nice to still have more daylight. I don't feel like I have to get up at 6 a.m. to completely enjoy my day in daylight because if I'm being honest I really don't like waking up that early but uh, I definitely do it sometimes especially when I'm uploading videos sometimes I wake up really early to upload a Facebook video so I'll get up like 6 7 a.m. post a video do everything I need to do for it and then pass back out so if you guys don't follow me on Facebook usually videos like pranks and stuff I post first on there and earlier than a lot of my other social media platforms especially the vlog usually that's the very first spot that a video goes live so you can follow me on Facebook just type in Lance Stewart on Facebook you should be able to find it all right so I wanted to talk about this 
this. Lizzie's a little bit nervous about it because like I said, when I started talking about this whole third eye thing, I even said that I think people might think that I'm crazy for talking about this. Just like some people may think you're crazy by talking about aliens if you believe in them and someone doesn't, obviously. But I just asked her again and she's okay with me explaining it right now. So the other night, Lizzie wasn't in full disbelief about the third eye, but she wasn't fully believing in it. And I was like, all right, Lizzie, let's just give it a try. So usually you're supposed to be in like a meditation point. So you're supposed to be fully relaxed and not really have a lot of things going on in your head. You're supposed to clear your mind completely and then focus on your third eye. But she was like literally about to pass out when I asked her to do this. So it was probably one of the best times that she could possibly could have done it because she was already almost in like that stage of like deep relaxation. So I told her to close her eyes and focus on her third eye. And about a minute or two goes by and she just sees black, like nothing really happening. And then she starts seeing images in her head and she starts talking and saying exactly what she sees in her head as she's seeing these things. And I thought this was so wild because I'm so interested in this stuff and I haven't seen any images in my head as of yet. I feel like I used to see stuff when I was a kid though. And I just really can't remember that well. So she starts talking and she's saying all these things. And then it gets to a point where she just ends up having like a headache. And, and just stops because apparently it's supposed to give you a headache if you do it for too long. Which I did not know. Yeah. <laughs> so we end up going to sleep. Everything's normal. Then the next day she does it again. I, I asked her to do it again because I was very interested in it. And after she's done doing it, she starts explaining like all of these things to me about myself. Almost like she's reading me like a psychic. And I was like, this is wild because I wasn't really doing any talking. She was just sitting there talking to me for like an hour and a half, two hours about how I'm feeling and how things are in my life and why they are a certain way. And like, Things that she wouldn't really know about myself, even though we have been together for like five years, there was things that she was saying that like we don't even talk about. And it was so wild because it was just very random. And she doesn't even know how she was knowing of these things. It was just kind of like coming to her. Like it was like in her subconscious. I was using big words that I've never used before. Right? <laughs> it was wild. It was such a crazy experience. And she wasn't the only one that did that either. One of the days, Aiden was like on the verge of passing out when he slept over here. So I asked him to do it as well. And he started focusing and same exact thing happened when he was saying these things. He started seeing images in his head and I knew he wasn't bullshitting because he had the same exact tone in his voice that Lizzie had. And the things that he was describing, he had no idea as to why he was describing them. It was just like images popping up in his head. So I think that's very bizarre, but I think it's so interesting. So I'm gonna keep doing my meditation, focusing on my chakras and see if it gets me anywhere. But overall, I feel a lot better. Like I've been obviously praying a lot like every single day. I told you guys this before, but I feel good. I feel good. Oh my gosh, I just came out to my car and I thought I saw a head move in the back of my car, but it's really just this little air freshener getting blown around. That scared the hell out of me, but I think we're good to go now. We actually have to head out in this car right now and go over to either like Sears or Lowe's or an appliance store. For my fridge and freezer, I actually have to replace the filter in it, the water filter, because our ice as of recently has tasted and smelled so bad. So I definitely think we have to replace that filter. I don't know, even know if you guys can see it, but there's like this tiny little bug crawling on my lens right now. Oh, I think it just like, got shot in my eye when I blew on it. But yeah, we gotta replace that filter because we use the ice every single day to make protein shakes and it just makes it taste so bad and I, I really can't handle it. So we're gonna go replace that now. Mmm, but it does smell good in here. I'm very, very satisfied. It was so cold in here, it literally built moisture up. Well, Lizzie forgot something, so we had to stop back at the house, but. <laughs> gotta do that too. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> what? You're on crack. Nope. I just told Liz to record me and she has no idea why I wanted to record me. You're but, gonna uh, launch. Okay, but now you know. I already knew. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping that it would just kind of like throw you in your seat. Nope. You're no? very predictable. <laughs> yeah. Come on, change light. They had an arrow. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa, it's quick right that now, was boy. That was a really quick launch. That was a nice launch. You know why? It's like perfect temperature outside. So I'm getting like the right airflow, everything I need. What the heck is this? It was great. Oh no. Oh, me and Ant saw this earlier. It's a light post. A light post. One of these things right oh. there literally fell over. <laughs> it's not funny, but. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we are. We parked right outside of Sears in the mall. I'm bringing in this big-ass camera, so hopefully I don't get kicked out. Yo, Ant, you want to get inside of this and go down the stairs, bro? 
Do you want to? I'm down. <laughs> the escalators? Yeah, what's fun of that or uh, the white water rafting? I don't know, bro. This seems pretty fun. <laughs> Is that what I said? Ugh. What? You said white water rafting. What's funner? It's oh. more fun. Yeah. Wow. Wow. All right, so I'm like super confused right now because the way my fridge and freezer is, I'm not exactly sure if there's even a water filter in it. We might have to connect like an inline filter to the back where the hose connects to the fridge and freezer for the water. And maybe we run filtration through there. Because when I open my fridge and freezer, I don't see any area where you can actually replace a filter. We can replace air filters, but I don't know if we can actually replace a water filter through it. I don't know if it actually has one because there's no area I checked all around. So I think that's what we're gonna have to do. But uh, until now, we're gonna go back to the house. I'm still gonna try and figure it out. Liz is gonna return something first. I was even on the phone with my mom and dad trying to figure it out. They're not really too sure either. And it's crazy because they had the same exact fridge and freezer before, but it's been years, so I guess they don't really remember too much. So we'll get we'll get it figured out. Damn, American Eagle's popping right now. Literally took down their store. I wonder if they're like relocating it. I have no idea. No, they relocated to there, and then I guess they still aren't getting enough sales. So now you know, I, don't, I don't think they're gonna be in here anymore. Oh shit! Damn, that's wild. I used to wear American Eagle all the time when I was a kid. Yeah, so did I. <laughs> Going back into this East meets West store. Lizzie went a little overboard the other day when she first got me all those things. So she has a couple things to return. The smell in here is just like so soothing. It smells great. <laughs> so strong. This is what Watch. Anne was trying to do the other day. It gets louder and louder. That's insane. It's literally overpowering this music. Do you know what the purpose of this is? Yeah, it touches different chakra points inside of your body. Really? So like you can like feel like, here, I'll do it again. Close your eyes. Where do you feel it? <laughs> that is really cool. I don't know where I feel. You close your eyes. Because yeah. her, see, my, I don't think my like my third eye or anything's open yet. I think hers is, so it would be better if she did it. Babe, do it, come on. Come on, I'm putting you on the spot. Here, what you do is, put it right in the palm of your hand. Uh, that's probably the issue, I'm messing the vibration. Ding. Let's go to ding it and just go circular. There you go. That's insane. So, is so it's beneficial if you do this while you're like focusing on them? Yeah, when you're focusing on them. Well, this one, I feel it more in my heart. My heart races when I do it. So like, I feel like that's just more beneficial. And these ones up top can touch different chocolate points in your body. Wow, that's cool. Dude, Dude that's so sound sick. is so cool. Dude, I might get it just because it's cool, but like, I feel like I could probably use it as like a benefit when I'm, when I'm Dude, trying to focus on all my chakras. This is weird. I just picked up this crystal. It's a rose quartz. And I actually have one of these in my house. We found it when we went to PA. He's messing with that thing in the back still. It's funny. But this one's a, definitely a lot bigger, and like I'm literally feeling like vibration through my hand while holding this. It's pretty wild, and I've never felt that before. Dude, this is so weird. This is so weird. Like I feel it. I feel like a tingly sensation in my hand. And it's definitely not just because I'm holding this. Like I, I'm holding this five and a half pound camera with my arm all day, and I definitely don't feel the same sensation. And this isn't five pounds at all. It's like, like a pound. That's so yeah, weird. That's weird. That's, That's weird. That's weird. My hand is shaking from it. It's like overpowering. Yo, Lizzie, try this out. Hold this in your left hand for like a minute. And you might feel like a tingling sensation. Why do you need to try everything? Because it works for me. I might work for you too. Just like focus on it. Like just with your brain, focus on like your arm. What did you feel? It, my hand started to tingle. Okay. Maybe it's just from holding the rock. No, I, I'm saying it's because like. No, because mine just did that. That's what I'm saying. It tingled. Yeah. So maybe it's just from holding the rock. No, it's like it doesn't do it for like the first couple seconds, and then it like starts doing it. It worked? What? Okay, I'm like tripping out right now. This is wild. Can I try it? Go ahead. Sorry. But I've tried holding like a rose quartz before when I didn't like start messing around with the third eye stuff and it didn't work for me. So I don't know. So what do you mean? You're like very like Ant doesn't believe in shit. So I don't know if it's gonna work. That's for the thing, bro, is I feel like stuff. Okay, like so this. do that. Just don't think, clear your head. Just literally focus with your brain on your hand. I'm not feeling anything. See? It, it doesn't work for everybody. If you don't believe it, like, it, as silly as it sounds, like, believing actually does help. Because, like, obviously, if you go into something with negative thoughts, it's not going to work for you. So you just put your hand over it with okay. your left hand. So this is a quartz crystal, right? Yes. The other one's a rose quartz, which is focused more on love. This one is more just, like, everything. So you said just hold my hand up over it? Yeah, over? just hover over it. And you can just feel it. You don't even have to, like, touch that one. It's so oh, my God. Insane. Oh, my God. It's so powerful. Like, literally... I feel I feel the vibration so much more than I feel that one. Dude, this is wild. This is so weird. I feel it more with my left. But I I, I started to get a tingly. Try this, babe. Your left hand is your receiving hand. Yeah, I, right I read up on that too. But like.
how wild is that? <laughs> how cool is that? Ew. It sends vibration, like vibration signals through your hands. Yo, Ant, see if you feel this one, because this it's one's more powerful. Look how big this one is. Are they different colored for like different chakras? Yeah. That it focuses on? Mm -hmm. I might get one of those for like the third eye. Yo, I can sit there and do it. Yeah, yeah, you can do it while I'm meditating. Oh Yo, um, <laughs> am I grabbing? All right, you're not grabbing anything. You're literally just hovering your hands over this. This? Your left hand. Left hand. What did you feel? Tingly. Sends really? like vibrations to your hand. Dude, I don't know if it's you telling me that I'm gonna feel that, that I'm feeling it. Like it's in my head or Well he didn't he didn't tell it. me I was gonna feel vibrations in my hand when I held the rose quartz and I felt it. Well I'm saying now because like I'm touch feeling it. Touch it. No, I'm not I'm not touching it, I'm no. feeling it. In oh you finger, are feeling in my it? fingertips, but I don't know if it's because you told me I'm gonna feel it. Well touch it and see if it's even stronger. Would it be stronger if you touch it? Uh I don't know, but that one I like feel it more with that just like hovering over it. If you touch it, it would just be like the same thing as yeah, just hovering over it. Yeah. I didn't feel Dude, anything it, touching it, but hovering over I felt in my fingertips. Like vibration almost. Yeah. That's crazy. So all of these make a different sound frequency to focus on each specific chakra. I feel like I couldn't really focus when he was doing this before because I was holding the camera at the same time. So I feel like I have to be in like a meditation state though or like in a quiet area. But so this is supposed we'll to be try. the third eye one. Yeah. So you should feel it there. Oh, that's so weird. I feel a pressure. Wow. I feel yeah. pressure right here. Really loud. Wow. Like a wild pressure, that's sick. I want to get that. Yeah? Yeah. I want to try the huge one. That's what I was trying when <laughs> So is that quartz crystal? Yeah. Oh my lord. Is it heavy? Yeah, it's fucking yeah. massive. That one really good. Yeah. Ew, it didn't work. Yeah. Two thousand years later. It's not working. <laughs> Does it still work if you put it on the on like a table or something? Yeah, you gotta hold it. Uh, is it better if you hold it yourself and do it? Sends more vibrations. Yeah. It's like the size of it makes it so yeah. annoying. It's hard. It's harder to do. Wow. That's powerful. Dude, you like feel it. You feel the vibration. It puts me into like a trance, dude. Do you feel like if That's you just like focus on it? So powerful. This stuff's so cool. I wonder how the camera picks up the frequency. It's probably not nearly the same. It's kind of like if I show you guys bass in my car, it doesn't sound nearly the same. This is really cool though. All right, so if I'm gonna even purchase this thing, of course I gotta try it out first like everyone else did. Did you feel the vibrations to your hand? No, you're not supposed to. So make sure your hand's as flat as possible. Oh, so like pop. Yeah, because you don't want to mess the vibrations up. Right. Okay. So then you're I'm just scared I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop it, dude. All right, so you hit it. So you yeah, ding it, not hard. You just ding it once on the side and then touch and roll. That was great. <laughs> Less flimsy. Yeah, what are you doing? I don't know, dude. My other hand or no? Left hand or right hand, doesn't matter. Just, just make sure you hold it like that when you ding it and then just go. <laughs> Grip it more, Lance. You're holding it so flimsy. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna get it. <laughs> so Aiden's actually in the mall right now. We're trying to describe to him how to get to here. But uh, before we leave the shop, I want to show him that huge quartz crystal one and see how he reacts to like, yeah. the vibration. Dude, I'm like so amazed right now because anytime I've ever held like a crystal, I've never felt the vibrations like I felt in here, in my hand. It was very, like you feel the energy, it's really weird. But I did end up purchasing the one that Ant was playing with the whole time. Okay, so I showed you guys this before. This is literally this huge piece of amethyst, amethyst crystal, and tongue twister, right here. So with any crystal that you do this with, you should feel it in the area that aligns with the chakra. So for example, the amethyst crystal. Hey, what up, bro? I found you guys. Yeah, what's going on? <laughs> what's up, money shit? <laughs> so the Amethyst crystal is supposed to resonate with the third eye. So if, he said if I hover my hand over here, I should feel the pressure in my third eye area. So even just like hovering my hand. I feel like a tingly sensation in my arm again. This one's more powerful, like more tingly in my arm, but I don't know if I feel it here though. I definitely feel the, the tingliness in my arm though. Way more powerful. I was just telling Aiden that I just bought one of these things over here. Here, and you, you're you're yeah. pretty good at it, so you try it. I'll let the, but uh, get the big boy right the there. That one's trash, I can't do that one. Oh, you can't? Watch. It's trash. Hold on, I'll show you. Well, this one's another. Imagine this like amplified. Okay. It gets louder and louder. Um. 
It's like literally what you're supposed to do though. Yeah, that's sick. So I got you one got of those. One? Yeah. So how are you gonna use it if you don't know how to use it? Well, no, I know how to use it, but Ant's just good at it. I, I only did it like one time. He was sitting here for like 10 minutes playing with it. <laughs> nice, nice. But yo, I want to show you one thing before we do go though. So there's this crystal. It's a quartz crystal. But when you hover your hand over it, you feel the energy. It's so, weird, like the vibration. So look, you're just gonna literally, Aiden. <laughs> <laughs> you're good bro you just hold your hand over it like this and give it like like about like 10 seconds you'll start feeling like no do your left hand let me know if you feel anything in your hand oh, my hand's shaking it's not now but it felt like it does it feel like a tingly yeah like a vibration is getting sent through it almost like heat that's cool so what is this that's a quartz crystal Ooh. That feels good. Oh yeah, those things are the best. Yeah. The <laughs> Lizzie has an obsession now with going up to these gumball machines. <laughs> she literally just went up to a gumball machine in the store that we were just in as well. It's so funny. But uh, I stopped to get a smoothie really quick. I was just explaining to them how you have an obsession now with these gumball machines. <laughs> you literally just had one in the other store. I, I used to have a little tiny one when I was little. Oh yeah, I did too. Look how wild this brownie looks. That's crazy. That's insane. Yeah. I don't know how that would taste, but it, I mean, it looks pretty good. I've noticed this a lot lately that I keep saying the word wild. It's like one of my new words along with the word sick. Oh, that's sweet. That's cool. That's sick. Wild. That's dope. Yeah. Now I'm saying wild. I don't know why. Damn, that's wild. This is wild. It's pretty wild. How wild is that? Like a wild. This is wild. This is so weird. Mm -mm -mm. Does that look good? Aiden's trying to pull this song up right now. Go on. You explain it. This is the song that I think of when I see his shirt. <laughs> Here comes the money because it's all dollars. Mm. Dollar, 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 dollar. <laughs> Damn, literally the place is closing right now. We can't even go out through our exit. It's blocked off, so we gotta find another way out. The way of our lives. Yeah. <laughs> And just brought this up and I think it's so funny because this is something I literally would do He's like you're gonna get an entire throne made out of like the crystals. Well, he said amethyst crystal I was like I would want one out of all the crystals too You're just sitting in this throne of crystals just feeling all that energy when I tell you how weird it is that I felt energy when hovering my hand over that That's something I've never experienced in my life before even though I have the crystals in my house It wasn't that strong of a power and we have like a tiny rose crystal at my house So I, maybe that's why I didn't feel it Obviously the bigger the crystal was the more energy I felt from it really weird something that like I never thought would actually happen just very very cool I think what the main thing is why a lot of people don't believe in this stuff is because we live in such a materialistic world and I, I definitely feel like the way society is tries to make people not believe in certain beliefs and things like this people think are crazy until they really get into it but like I, I feel like as a society we're all taught to believe that certain things aren't true and when you actually get into these things and actually start learning about it you realize that these things are true and i don't know exactly where i'm going with this but i just feel like a lot of people don't believe certain things because of what society teaches us what to believe in if that makes sense like i feel like a lot of people are afraid to see ghosts because of what society has made us feel or think about them so that kind of ties along with it as well we just got home and aiden asked google to play a name of a song and i didn't know it does this but it literally bleeps curse words go ahead Aiden. okay google Play Dubai shit by Huncho Jack on Spotify. Dubai shit by Huncho Jack. <laughs> That's sure. funny. Hey, There's so many dog bones. There was like even more earlier. Look at what they did the carpet. It's all over the I know. Top. Unfortunately, they messed the carpet up. Damn. Well, that sucks. Uh, we're gonna have to right. rotate it. Yeah, we're gonna have to deal with that later, I guess. What we're gonna have to do is. We're, we're gonna, gonna go tomorrow. Well, where? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like this is the common thing to say. Oh, we gotta go there, but you know, we never will. Uh, bro, I'm gonna use my hand. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Except this time with a fucking non-sharp tennis bracket. It's okay. It's all good. I mean, I heard a little bit, but we chilling. So we're about to play ping pong right now, but I wanted to give a special thanks to someone. Um, it's actually this company that sent me a pretty much like another GoPro. I don't, I don't really know how else to describe it. It's just like a little pocket cam, and it is actually pretty fucking cool. So this is what it looks like, and it actually comes with like this watch that you can turn it on and off. You can take pictures or shoot video just by touching this button instead of actually having to go up to this camera itself. So uh, I think that's pretty cool. Came with a battery. Came with a lot lot of stuff actually that's very useful for all this especially like this waterproof case of course also if you look at this clearly it looks like there is a face where the usb ports are and the sd card holder that's pretty funny this is the brand that sent it over though i'm gonna try it out we're actually gonna uh play some ping pong with it so i'm gonna use that as my second angle with the gopro damn you guys started without me all right you were down here we're gonna go upstairs for like 20 minutes <laughs> i know i have to find my other camera 
Well, anyway, we're here. We're getting it set up. We got one set up over here. I don't know how we're gonna set up the other one. Yo, maybe I can stick it on here. You can also get your merch at lancer10.com as well. So maybe I'll just put it right here and I'll face towards it. Sick. Yo, guess what this camera comes with? What? Bro, it comes with a wristband where you can turn it on and off. Does it really? And, and like start shooting picture or video. That's pretty sick. That's pretty sick. Oh yeah. Yo, I feel like I'm hyping this brand up hella right now, but I mean, I kind of like it so far. I mean, you guys will be the determinate judge of the picture, but uh, we're gonna get it started. Let's go. And by the way, no, this is not a brand deal. They literally just sent me the camera. So I'm trying it out, giving them my honest opinion. I do gotta say that that camera, the way like the control center set up is really not the easiest. I mean, GoPro definitely is the one on that, so. We're gonna get started. All right, so we are about to play some ping pong. Ping pong table looks sick, we got it all set up. Theo's trying to bite the ping pong ball right now. That's pretty funny. Yes, sir. And you gotta say, I haven't played in a very long time. Yeah, same. <clears throat> yeah, all right, bro, he's been down here like playing nonstop. Let's be real. So, he's like, I'm gonna beat Lance's ass when he comes out here and finds a place <laughs> after like not playing it for a couple of days. But, all right, let's play. Then you got the pose down and everything. One zero. Ugh. Two zero. Two zero. Uh, two, two one. one. Me and Liz are like sinking voices. Two one. <laughs> Damn. Three one. Yes. Ooh, you got a point. Three two. Ah! Theo. Three three. Why is he barking? Wait, hold for ball for ball. Three, four. All right, all right. Dog situation. Um, let's go. Oh, I still played it. I still played it. I helped you out. Damn. Five, four. Five, four. Wow. Five, five. I got caught. I got a six, four. <laughs> <laughs> what? Eight six? 
84 to 86. What, what's the actual score? 85. Stop, man. You're hurting my head. You're like making me overthink. I don't know what the score is now. I'm doing it purposely. You're fucking me up. You ain't fucking am. That is so cool. Oh my god. 
They are so sick. It's so funny because it's like wow. everyone sends you these for like your sick ass car, but it's like this just looks so cool. It just looks so dope. Dude, that's awesome. Oh, bro. Oh. These make the balls go so far for the dogs. That's so cool. Now I can play fetch with the dogs with this. Like he's already looking at it. Psych! <laughs> yeah, right? Aww. <laughs> He's still getting tricked. Wow. Yeah, I guess he knows something's gonna go flying, though. Yeah, that's true. Ready? Oh, that's oh, that like an outdoor. I know, this so thing I can go, chuck. Can we go to the P-A-R-K? Oh, <laughs> we're gonna do this tomorrow with them. I yeah. wanna go, I wanna go. We'll do it. Oh my. That scared you? No, no, I was gonna hold still for the camera. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> it fucking it. savage. That's a friend right there. <laughs> Keep the shot. Yeah. All right, guys, that is going to do it for today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to smash that thumbs up button. Do not forget to turn on my post notifications as I give notification shout outs every single day to people that have them turned on. Here's today's shout out to the day. Boom, 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 boom. And other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.